Now, I don't know what it is, but when I'm around control panels, I just can't help but open them up and have a look at how they've been designed, how they've been laid out, little details here and there. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's my engineering brain. I like seeing how things are structured, logical flow of things, curiosity, OCD as well, like just how things, how things are laid out, the symmetry of things. I just love it. And in this video, I'm going to review some other people's control panels and give feedback. So hopefully you guys can see what I feel has been done well and what's been done not so well. So you can learn from it when you're doing your own panels, your own designs, your own builds, but also give you more confidence when you're working on them. So let's dive in. Okay, so I'm gonna run through three control panels from this manufacturer. And this manufacturer has provided me so much inspiration over the last two, three years. And I'm gonna reveal who this manufacturer is and where you can find these incredible images so you can get inspiration and guidance on how to design, build and maintain control systems yourself a little bit later. But the first thing I wanna do with this panel is just explain what's going on in terms of what it's controlling, what it's monitoring. So this is a BMS panel, so building management system or BAS, building automation system. And this is, as you can see, from looking at the plates on the front of the panel, straight away you can understand on these types of systems, BMS systems, what's actually going on and what this panel is monitoring and controlling. And you can see that it's, it's monitoring um, cold water services so low and high level, and actually let me switch to the next image. Here we go. So you can, you can see here that it's monitoring these tanks, these cold water tanks, and we're monitoring for low level, high level. We're also looking at the temperature within these tanks as well. And then we're, we're monitoring valves, whether they're opened or closed. And this is the same thing, as you can see, it's, it's replicated over here. Inlet valves, outlet valves, isolation valves and then we we're also controlling vents ventilation and so we can see here straight away the state of this first vent in the plant room is it in fault or has it alarmed and then we can see these other ones number two three four and five and we're, we're monitoring controlling different aspects on these so you can see that this one here we're looking at whether it's activated so most likely we're controlling that whether it's activated we're monitoring whether it's fallen into fault and also we've got a maintenance light as well where most likely the filter will need changing um, there'd be like a differential pressure sensor or switch that will determine whether that filter needs replacement and once it does it will flag this light up most likely obviously i don't know the whole system but just from what i'm seeing on the front of this panel i can get a good understanding of most likely what's going on yeah and then it's pretty self-explanatory but you can have a look at these other lights what's going on here this one here you can see the operator open operator closed so this might be a manually controlled system or vent sorry that is purely controlled manually through through the operator and this just gives a status straight away of what's going on and what what you'll find on these types of panels is everything that you see that's going on here in terms of this monitoring, this control, more monitoring than anything, and in terms of what I'm speaking about now, but all this monitoring, all these lights, will also be doubled up and reflected on the PLC or the controller. So we can actually monitor it, monitor this system um, here as well. We can monitor this system remotely, log into it remotely, or we can get alarms or faults sent to us via email, text message, You know, whether that's us as the company maintaining the system, servicing the system, or facility management company, or whoever else, like you know, internal team, maintenance team. So that was the first thing that I wanted to go over on this control panel. Now, two things that has that i've taken from looking at this manufacturer that i want to share with you and this might be really stupidly obvious but when i first started mounting sockets within control panels mostly for laptops i would always mount them in line with the din rail and then what would happen is when i actually plug a laptop socket or plug into the socket where the trunking is like this would be too close to the trunking and i i'd be able to get the the plug in but it would 
be bent and it would be horrible and it'd be a little bit awkward and difficult. And then I saw how this chap was designing his panels and it's so obvious. We'll just move the socket up so there's more room for the for the, for the the cable coming out of the plug. So that's the first thing I wanted to share with you. Um, be aware of that. And then to be fair, I don't actually do this. I would probably argue this is taking things a little bit too far, but the fact that this is being thought about, it just shows the attention to detail that this, this manufacturer, this designer goes into when, when putting together their, their control systems, their panels. So yeah, you can see here that this is kind of a little warning, a warning label, a warning flag to show that this shaft is, is sticking out or at least I presume that's what's meant by this I haven't ever spoke to this person um, so I'm making some level of a assumptions here but yeah it's like when you open a panel be aware that this is kind of sticking out and it might pipe, poke someone's eye out perhaps so that's the first one let's move on to the second one now so this one as you can see bit of a larger panel and what i love about this is it's specifically split into sections so you if we zoom in here the resolution is a little bit bad but you can see control section here and then you can see over here power section so what this means is anyone that's working on the system, they know straight away, well, we've got all the power behind this door and we've got all the controls behind these doors here. And it's also sort of indicated by, you know, the lights and the, the HMI on the front of the system. So that's a nice little detail, just splitting the sections. Because what's happening here is you've got like one, one panel here, but then it's been drilled and fixed to another panel over here. But this And this... This way we can segregate power, low voltage, and then controls, extra low voltage, and comms and whatnot, at least to some degree. Um, but also, you know, it, it's clear when someone comes to work on a panel where things are. So just considering the people, are, like you're a designer and you're laying out the panel, just considering the engineers that are gonna be on site later on after you is so massive. And most of the time, and I think this is the case with this guy from what I understand, the best designers are are the engineers that have actually been out on site, that have done servicing, maintenance, commissioning, install, they always make the best designers because they actually know the realities of working on site and what things to be thinking about when you're doing designs. So yeah, I absolutely love this 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 person who, because he thinks about these things. So that's the first thing, sections. Now, another thing that I love, like just look at that, like, oh, it's just, I don't know what it is, but I just love looking at this, the at control panels. Just look at how well laid out it is is the symmetry just how even everything is yeah but you can see here this is the power side so we got like our, our main power distribution or incoming and then distributed we got contactors we've got mcbs we got transformer we got our neutral bars we got our earth bars like all the main power is over this side but then we've got all our controls you know our, our relays our psus and our yeah well i'll get to it and our, our cables over on this side and what i want to point out on this panel is just again level of detail i just love it so you can see the person doing the install just doesn't have to think it's just making their life so easy because down to this detail where they can open up the panel and they can be like ah oh, brilliant the designer or the panel manufacturer has actually put outgoing 24 volt control cables all coming come in um over here and then they'll be terminated right here and then the manufacturer designer has done a similar thing with the BMS cables. So the installation engineer knows straight away, oh, I can put all those cables in here. And I can't see what that says, but it's a similar thing here. So just, again, just level level of detail, making things easy for the for the on-site engineers. Um, also, another little detail that I like with this panel is, and this isn't always doable on the smaller panels like I showed you a minute ago, but just having, a, a holder for the documentation pack um, rather than having it all rolled up and screwed up and poked down a trunk a trunk a side of a trunking um one more thing with this this panel and this manufacturer does the same thing on all of their panels but just this level of detail as well so where you've got this loom of cables that are coming from various points within the panel and going off to the doors for those lights and control, it's like little controllers and displays and whatnot. Those cables, you can see here, nice arc has been cut out of the out of the trunk in, but the 
the small detail here is this manufacturer has made that trunking lid longer and you can see that it, it's right up against the side of the panel enclosure here so it's not moving about and it's it's holding that loom in place or at least that's how i'm interpreting why that's been done that way so yeah just a nice little detail so that's the second panel let's move on to the third one now okay on to the third panel so just look at that just visually looking at that just how well aligned everything is the symmetry how all the green lights are on the top the red lights are on the bottom it just it looks so visually a please uh, visually pleasing the detail that i want to highlight here is this panel manufacturer they just look at the plate sizing so they've got kind of a double plate here and then they've got a quadruple or let's say this is a single plate single plate here and then they've got a double plate here so exactly the same sizing and they plan this out so they can, you know, they've got a, a then a, a quad plate here, but they've designed it in a way that this is like kind of the max amount of lights or in indication lights and labels that they can have on a panel. Because if you go any further over here, then you're running into what's mechanical stuff on the other side of the door where you just can't drill holes and stuff. So there's kind of like a dead zone that you've got to be aware of. But this designer, manufacturer, has been like, look, I can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows on, on this panel. And then I can split that up into twos, which they've done here on a single plate, or fours, or sixes, or eights dependent on what is being monitored and controlled with that specific subsystem you know like they've done here with the smoke extract dampers and the um, extract duct dampers and then the smoke extract dampers etc you see what i mean so it's just that's what makes it so visually appealing and just the symmetry and everything aligning which i love it just looks so nice um the other nice detail here is they go as far as just giving operators and uh, on-site engineers, commissioning engineers, service engineers, a heads up, you know, warning. When the panel is isolated, the smoke extract dampers spring to default positions. And whether that's open or closed, that will be determined by what's going on like, in the field. But just a heads up that, you know, when there's no power, be aware that the smoke extract dampers will default to their their Will, will go to their default position. So just nice little detail there. And let's have a look inside. Again, just everything's just so clean, so symmetrical. You've got that clamp bit of trunking there on the cable loom going to the door. But the, the detail that I wanted to highlight in this panel is, is these metal runners for the trunking that goes to the door or sits on the door because what I've done in the past and it's worked well enough but I just I just stuck with double sided gorilla tape these bits of trunking to the door and that's okay on on smaller panels and if you're not not the most professional thing to do but if you get the right tape and it's not too hot or environment and then it's not too much too, not too many cables running through them they hold and it's good enough but you can see just going the extra mile metal runners that affixed to the inside of the door here and then over here on this side which you can just rivet or screw the plastic trunking to and it's it's nicely fixed it's solid you know that's not going anywhere there's no chance of things getting hot in here and then the, and then the glue of the double-sided tape you know wearing away and then these falling off it's it's mechanically fixed so yeah now let me reveal who this is by who these panels have been by and it's a guy called Steve who works at Sigma Panels. And as I said, I've taken so much inspiration from Steve and just how he designs and builds panels. And as you can see, they are immaculate. They are just so nice to look at. And yeah, I don't know Steve personally, um, but I just want to say if he ever watches this, that you've provided me a lot of inspiration and I really admire your workmanship. And I want to encourage other people to look, to, to look at your the way you've designed panels and and implement some of that stuff themselves so you can find steve on linkedin and just search sigma panels and yeah ultimately i recommend that you follow you follow steve because he puts up regular pictures of control panels high definition images and yeah i just you know just look at this look at this this is like next level control panel here like this 
Steve really knows his stuff. Yeah, and I wanted to um, point him out to you. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, subscribe. See you later.